Let's talk about soft pastels a little bit. You can buy soft pastel paper, which is lovely. That's what this is. So I'm going to draw this photo. And so I cut the paper to the size I want. I put artist tape on it. Um, this will create crisp, clear lines as a border. I am doing a series of older photos to uh, document lots of the legacy that I hold in my own life. from living in Appalachia, from being the eldest of five kids. Nature is a huge part of my background and legacy, what I love and what I want to share with the world when I'm dead and gone. So <laughs> those are soft pastel pencils. There are hard stick soft pastels and then there are hand rolled soft pastels. The pencils are fantastic for anything you'd like to do. Um, they can do, you can do huge swaths of like uh, painting and drawing with these. Oh, and by the way, the difference, difference between painting and drawing, you can draw with paint and you can paint with soft pastels. It's, it's, the difference is how you use it. So if you're sketching out something, um, that's a drawing. If you're filling it in and blending all the colors, that's a painting, whether or not it's a wet or dry media. So, there's that. If you're going out and buying all these supplies, definitely get yourself a set of the pastel pencils, grab an X-Acto knife with extra blades. You're gonna use that to whittle your pastels. And then get a few of your favorite colors of the hand rolled. At the end, just to put in the highlights, the most vibrant pops of color that you see in your image, uh, these will definitely bring it out. I have, I have my paper on a board. You can get pads of paper. And you want to make sure that whatever you're using to set up, it's at eye level and it's not tilted too far away or too close to you. So finding a safe place for everything is, I mean, a good idea just to stay organized. But also the soft pastels need a little home. They need a home to be nestled in, right? Like this. Because they will get beat up if they're, not, if they're just rolling around in a drawer or something like that. If you have any other questions, reach out to me anytime. I'm, I'm free to talk. Take care. Ciao.